Oh, he looks out. Of That's me. She is yes, my. So um. <laughs> Yeah. Before Quibble Cop's gaming and vlog channel blew up, landing him videos with Kevin Hart, Ice Cube, Seth Rogen, and Zac Efron. But uh, Ice, what what would your like, username be? My, my, name my name would be Game, game Over, bitch. Jordy moved into a massive house and teamed up with his buddies, fellow YouTubers Jelly and Slogo Man. Billy, so that's the balcony, right? Because that's where we're gonna keep you, sex slave. Yeah. Close it, close it, close it, close it. There you go. Before Quibble Cop had over half a million cops following him on Instagram, 5 million subscribers, and 1.5 billion views, and was making some serious YouTube bank. It's my 3 million subscribers custom made YouTube play button. Before Jordy found love with our very own Azzyland. She said yes! <laughs> We're getting married! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We're getting married. It's official now. We're getting married. Who he's kind of abducted, and I'm totally unsure if I'll ever see my little Azzy land again. But what are you gonna do? I mean, these two kids are in love, and they make a pretty cute couple. Jordy Van de Busche. Hope I'm saying that right. I do not speak Dutch. Well, we know him as Quebble Cop, and he hails from Amsterdam, where he grew up with his sister Lauren, and together they survived a childhood full of abuse, alcoholism, neglect, and criminal activity. Yeah, who would have thought such a charismatic personality would have been through so much? Jordy graduated with top marks, but when faced with the choice of university or pursuing a practical job, he decided to screw all that and follow his dreams. And he took a chance, a big one. Against his mom's wishes, Jordy chose to become a full-time YouTuber, starting with Call of Duty and Minecraft gameplays. Jordy has grown Quebble Cop into one of the top 50 viewed and subscribed gaming channels out there. And it looks like the kid is just getting started. What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCrudden and welcome to Before They're Famous, documenting the life and career of the Dutch YouTube gaming sensation, Quebble Cup. And I know you guys have been requesting this video for what seems like forever, and I'm happy we're finally getting it done. And I feel like we're gonna have to do one on Azzy pretty soon. I mean, she's growing so fast. I feel like a father. Anyways, be sure to let us know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. Jordy Van Den Busje was born on June 1st, 1995 in Amsterdam. This beautiful historic city is best known for its architecture, culture, and wonderful weed laws, but it was far from a charmed upbringing for Jordy and his big sister Lauren. Now I myself have been to Amsterdam and I understand there are a lot of drugs. I don't touch drugs, of course. I did try some delicious brownies. Following which, a guy wanted me to pay a ridiculous amount of money. I'm like, they're just brownies. And then I think he might have pulled a knife on me. Although I can't be sure. Now, I wasn't seeing straight, I was like hallucinating. Maybe it was a banana. I did see one of those at the sex show. At the age of two, Jordy's parents divorced and he and his sister split their time between the two homes. Amongst the chaos of their childhoods, the two siblings shared a love of video games from a very young age. Me and my sister, we started playing video games when we were really young and now you make video games. Yeah, I make oh video games. Oh my god. Although Jordy and his sister were the only ones in the family who were interested in video games initially, it seems that over time they've had a few converters. Not like controllers, people oh, decided to play with them, right? Yeah! Yes! Yeah! You're actually doing it! Landed, 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 landed! Yeah! It's like that thing I never say. The family that stunts together stays together. Unfortunately, when Jordy was seven, he and his friends were racing their bikes to school when they turned a corner and saw a car heading their way. To avoid being hit, Jordy hopped the curb and wiped out, but instead suffered a head injury, resulting in a head scar, which you can still see to this day. He's like Harry Potter. You know? Wicked. Three years later, Jordy was diagnosed with dyslexia and his mom enrolled him in extra classes to help with his condition. Despite his efforts, Jordy's teachers held him back, altering the courses of his high school education. Luckily, he's got a pretty good sense of humor about all that. I would have been pissed. By being placed in a lower level of high school, Jordy didn't let it hold him back and enrolled in the highest levels possible in the country and completed them for six years straight. In 2006, his mom met his stepdad who turned out to be an alcoholic. Eventually, his mother began drinking heavily as well, and the house became full of fighting and anger. Combined with his father's own problems, including owing money and issues with drugs, Jordy had no stable or happy home life. It was like someone would hit a hobo in the face, then put him in a house, and take all his furniture, 
Despite all these problems, Jordy and his sister still preferred to live with their mother, but even that was taken away from them for some time. His mother had fallen down the stairs while drunk and was seriously injured. While recovering, Jordy and his sister were forced to live full time with their father, who was spiraling out of control. Despite having two children living with him, he continued to drink, do cocaine, and have prostitutes over to their house. When Jordy was 14, his father fled the Netherlands to live in Cambodia, but before he left, he made sure his kids had something to remember him by by emptying their bank accounts. Wow. Now before you totally write this guy off, you should know that in 2015, Jordy reunited with his father after seven years, and although you may think it would have gone something like this, like this. Oh, <laughs> And if that didn't pull on your heartstrings enough, Jordi has since found out that his father's health has continued to decline and has had him flown back to the Netherlands from Cambodia to receive proper medical care. Wow, this kid, he's such a cutie. As as he stand in father, you have my blessing. I know, right? This is an emotional bio. But if I told you that all this really sad stuff from his past is what helped Jordy be the man he is today. When he was 16, Jordy started the Quebec Cop channel, named after a ghost doll Jordy had made in kindergarten. The translation from Dutch to English is roughly talking head, which is a pretty perfect description because this guy, he loves to talk. Yeah! Oh yeah! Do this. GTA it's beautiful. Five. Holy, Holy shit! One. So now you need to Holy go to the shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, GTA Five and Xbox One. Yes. We're, 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 we're gonna do this race. All these right. guys. Things were finally starting to turn around for Jordy. He found that making gaming videos and interacting with fans was one of the few things that truly made him happy. His mother left his stepdad after she found out he was cheating, and he had enough money through his RuneScape winnings to upgrade his computer. But when the new computer showed up, it didn't work, leading to a very important realization for the future of Quebecop. For the first year of the channel, Jordy had been posting videos off and on because the kid had no computer. So the fact that he got anything done is quite an accomplishment. Jordy realized that creating these videos was what he was truly passionate about and he had little interest in anything else, including attending university. Plus, I mean, the money was already gone. In August of 2012, Jordy had started posting daily videos while still attending high school, but once he graduated in June 2013, he was able to become a full-time YouTuber, putting up two videos every single day. And within seven months, he was getting some decent numbers. 10K subs, I got chocolate cake, and it's my birthday tomorrow. By the way, girls, if you want to come to my birthday, just message me. Despite the fact that he was earning about twice the amount he would have if he was working at a grocery store, his mom wanted him to quit and she wasn't taking his career choice seriously. Anytime she doubted him, he had this to say. I told her to shut the fuck up. I think it's safe to say that she's come around to YouTube as a profession. As for my mom, she still doesn't get it. She's always like, Michael makes these silly videos for the children, but he makes way too many boob jokes. She's Irish. I don't know what the hell that accent was. Welcome back, cops! Hello! <laughs> it's, it's a... Oh, hi! There you go, you're stealing a car, mom. Just hold it. Look, just let me try it. You're just doing great, you're doing great already. Quiet. When Quobblecop first started, it was mostly Call of Duty, Black Ops 2, and Minecraft videos, but when GTA 5 was released in 2013, Jordy fell in love with it, bringing in even more viewers with his crazy and hilarious stunts. Will he succeed? That's the question, cause he just f***ing at this f***ing stunt and it's no! I made it though. He teamed up with childhood friend Jelly and American Cody Brown to form Team Robust. A few months later, British gamer and YouTuber Slogo Man replaced Cody on the team and since 2014, the three have made some of their most successful videos together. He lost to <laughs> Can you guys do yoga together? No. Alright, I'm gonna get on top, boys. <laughs> no! It takes three, baby! It takes three, baby! Jelly Slogo and Quibble Cup! Don't ever do that again. In early 2016, under four years after Jordy had committed himself to becoming a full-time YouTube content creator, well, he hit three million subscribers, and if that wasn't enough, just six months later, Jordy got to make this announcement. I'm not joking, but we hit five million subscribers! And all by the age of 21. 
Wow, I can only hope that I'm as successful when I'm his age. Right? <laughs> then I'll get a girl like Azzy. I'll have millions of subscribers. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm an old fart. As for what's next, will it be love? Will it be marriage? Well, we'll just have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCrathen. We make all sorts of celebrity bios on here. We've done a whole bunch of YouTubers. And recently, you guys have been requesting we do one on Azzyland. Her channel is blowing up. She's at like half a million subscribers. And I think that's something that we could do. But we got to hear from you in the comments down below. Let us know who's next. Check out our other videos too right here. We'll see you guys in another video. I'm so done. No, I'm done. I'm done.